Hello everybody, my hair kind of looks like the dinosaur hair when you put it up and it's crazy. Hey, welcome to an empty house tour. I'm currently at our old house and literally every single piece of our furniture is either wrapped or moved and I'm just sitting on this wrapped piece because it's the most available to sit in. I filmed this empty house tour and I kind of mentioned this in my vlog I'm going to publish soon. A little bit in a rush and I'm a little sad about it because we were so in the throes of moving and our mover came early, a day early, um, that I forgot to film an empty house tour. And this home is so special to Luke and I and truly it is a dream come true. It is a dream I have wanted for so long and we both want it for so long and we're just so grateful to the lord for providing it and i i realized that we didn't have an empty house tour filmed literally as the movers are packing up and heading over there and luke and i rushed over there before them and we did this tour i wish that we had more angles i wish that we had more to offer you to showcase for us later on and to keep as a memory but that just wasn't the honest truth the honest truth of that moving is so chaotic it's exhausting you're putting your life into boxes you're wrapping your furniture you are just stuffing it in trucks and you're moving it and that's just kind of what we experienced but I got the opportunity and Luke is the one who pushed me and you can tell like I'm a little tense in this and if you know me through my vlogs or personally you know that I am very like fluid go with the flow and I really wanted to film this for y'all and I wanted to film this for me and Luke to look back on and I'm so grateful to him for pushing me and for doing this and I really hope that you enjoy it and there will be a move-in vlog coming soon and then a full house tour once we move in but thank you guys for being here I'm so appreciative of y'all and if you're new to the channel please be sure to subscribe bye hello everybody it's moving day and we're doing an empty house tour right before the movers get here so let's be fast all right as you can see we have a relatively small entrance but what we really loved about it is that it branches out into all the different areas of the house so we love 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 the tile it matches really really well with the wood in the house and as you can see there's dark wood throughout the entirety of the house this was the scariest room to paint. As you can see on the ceiling and also on the baseboards and the crown, just everywhere, we color drenched it. And it is probably gonna be our most wow room. As you guys know, I have a really beautiful wood desk. It's gonna go in here with a bright painting. I'm gonna add a really light rug to open up the room, but it definitely gives you that moody vibe that I'm looking for for our home study. And then we go into this room. This room, I love a formal dining room. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the ceiling is pink. And I got this inspiration from a designer friend of ours and we added trim to the wall. It is not your traditional picture molding, but I definitely just love the more formal vibe of this room. Luke and I love eating dinner together, even if it's just the two of us here in the dining room and we set the table and everything so we just really love it if you continue on we get into the kitchen so the kitchen is definitely the selling point of the house as you guys know i cook basically every single day every single meal breakfast lunch dinner coffee you name it we cook it usually at home every day except a few days a week we like to go out to eat <laughs> but the kitchen opens up into this beautiful living area. And the thing I love about this house is that while the, the places and the rooms are large, it's not over the top or over exorbitant because it is a decently sized room that's gonna fit everything we need, but not be so large. There's awkward spaces that we don't really know what to do with. So if you span over here, you see this was personally my favorite part of the house. This whole entire wall was changed and basically this room used to be closed off in its own self and then they blew out the wall and opened it up to this kitchen area that overlooks the backyard. And you can hear the movers backing in. So if you come this way, this personally 
This personally was my favorite little part of the house. It's the mudroom, it opens into the garage, and as you can see, there's a little mudroom area, some cubbies, you can store stuff, put your coats here, and then there's this really awesome space, and I've always wanted a space like this, and it's covered in all my paint samples. Um, but I always wanted a space like this in my grown up home. I wanted a space where we could put mail, write some letters, do whatever we needed to. It was more of like a family desk and a family office rather than just a random spot. Um, so it overlooks the backyard and I love the finishes. Moving into here, a weird little bathroom. Nothing special. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> And then finally, we got the laundry room, which is busting right now, but it's gonna be awesome to actually have a spot to do the laundry. And I love personally folding laundry right as it comes out of the dryer because then I don't have to worry about it later. But it's great to have this extra storage and then also have just a sink area where I can wash off my shoes. I have to soak some clothes or stain, et cetera. It gives us a great opportunity to do that. What I love about this is the fireplace. It gives you that really extended look and it brings your eye up. And we chose a Ferro ball. This is 25% French gray. The reason we went 25% is that we wanted it light. We wanted it to be compatible with the green outside because there's a lot of trees, grass, etc. And then we really love just all the natural light. So I wanted a beige in here or a taupe and I almost tried to force it and it just didn't look right. So I'm really happy we went with this color and we went with this color at a 50% in the kitchen and the dining area. So, a little bar area, which is nice to have a built-in space for that. And then, as you come down here, we have a few guest rooms, which is awesome. We're gonna have a main guest room, as you guys know from my previous townhouse. Luke and I didn't like to have guests because it was hard to have space away from them because it's just really nice to have that separate time when everyone turns in at night. So then we're going into the master. So the master is definitely, the master is definitely one of the bolder colors that we chose. And Luke and I are still kind of terrified of the color, but it's gonna look really good once the furniture and all the fixtures are in here and the artwork. So it is, this pink color is called Vogue Green by Sherwin Williams. We decided to go from floor to ceiling with the color because we didn't want to break in the color with the baseboards and such. Really awesome. And then we also have this little area over here that has our extra storage space, which is great. Then if you follow me into the bathroom, the bathroom is awesome. We love the bathroom. We love how it goes straight into the closet. We also really enjoy the counter space. The thing I love about the bathroom also is the different types of drawers. So there's different heights. You can put bottles in here. You can put the more shallow items in here. And then the shower has a couple different shower head options, which is great. We have the rainfall shower. We have the rainfall shower up top, then the normal one, and then just like a hose that you can use if you want to like get really up in there. So the thing that Luke and I are probably most excited for is well, number one, we have to figure out if Luke fits in the tub. I'm not sure, I don't think he does. And then, we love having this storage area, and I like how it doesn't go super deep. It just goes a good amount of length in, so you don't lose the things that you put in there. And finally, last but not least, this is probably one of our favorite parts. As you guys know, our closet is itty bitty, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot bikini in our current townhouse and we just really love having this space. So we've already started moving in the closet items. It's just really easy to just grab it from the townhouse, stick it in the car, and call it a day. But we really love having just all this space to kind of extend our clothes. We actually purged a lot of our clothes. We're not looking forward to having more clothes. We're looking forward to being able to find our clothes because what Luke and I experienced is we would stuff stuff together so much that we didn't even want to go through it and we would just wear what we always wore. So as you can see, it kind of extends back, has a little dress area back here that is a little bit longer in length so your dresses cannot hit the middle. And then we have all these shoe racks, which is great because as you guys saw in the previous closets and other vlogs, 
Luke would stack his shoes on the top because we barely had any space to fit both of ours. You don't want to do the basement or the upstairs? We can do that later. Okay. Good job. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. Chaos. 